let's see here. What kind of role would I need to know what kind of how that was? Nature. So not that. <laughs> uh, better nature. Kind of like, I don't know, pig, boorish, but definitely bigger. Like bugbear-ish? Probably bigger than a pig. <laughs> I mean, it's def it's definitely animalistic. It's and it sounds big. Um, I don't think the table's gonna help. Okay, cool. Let's go. <laughs> and uh, I mean, Kara's like, so what do you guys know about the boss that runs this place? He's scary, and he catches people if they try to run away. So what you've just learned from the people in there? <laughs> so nothing. <laughs> gotcha. Just wanna just wanna be be on the same page. All right. So, what sort of ready actions are you guys doing? Because I want to make sure that's clarified. I'm going to Eldritch Blast. Or I'm going to have an Eldritch Blast ready to be used when I decide to use it. Okay, dokie. I suppose Kara will be right here. All right. Question, oh, what time is it? Uh, it's coming towards dawn. It's it's about an hour before dawn. Before dawn. Okay, great. Can I ready you gravel in? So, in other words, you're not getting your charges back. <laughs> Hey, as long as you know what I was asking for. I was thinking about it, I was like, what that possible thing? A recharge based on... T oh, I see what you're doing. <laughs> I know it, your game. <laughs> it gets its charges with the first rays of light, so... <laughs> you're just like, you're like trying to get onto a tile building and wave your wand up. <laughs> get the Zelda... Doo -doo -doo -doo. <laughs> All right. Yes! Alright, so we got Zerm with an Eldritch Blast. Uh, what other ready actions, if any, are you guys doing? I don't, I don't really have anything besides if it gets close to me somehow, attack it, I guess. Alright, uh, Biff Burton, if you want to throw a javelin, you're going to need to be on one of the edges. Uh, come to my side. So top or bottom. And, and I mean, Kara is willing to move if, she, if you want her to. Okay. Okie dokie. Alright. So... What rushes in? Let's see. Let's see what sort of descriptions I can pull out of this thing. So far, the the the, the theories is caster. With a large pig. With a large pig. A large pig caster. Large pig familiar caster. Got it. <laughs> Let's see. Albert, check. Got it. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong one. Uh, Alright, so what rushes in looks to be a very muscular, stocky, uh, little bit short humanoid that seems to also be covered in fur, has large tusk like a boar, uh, definitely has the snout of a boar and all that good stuff, and... Though most of you guys are not, you know, you guys have varying knowledge of supernatural things. Uh, you could put two to two together and probably could believe that this thing is, in fact, a were boar. So, I'll go ahead and let you guys do your attacks. Carol had ready to ray of frost, obviously. Alright, so the javelin. Well. Uh, hits true, slams right into the thing, and just slide. it pretty much just bounces right off. Eldritch Blast doesn't bounce off. <laughs> As it howls angrily. Uh, Carol will go ahead and do her ready action. Just barely hits. For five. So... Javelin smacks him real hard and just kind of bounces, uh, just slides right off. Um, the Eldritch Blast hits hits him in the other shoulder and knocks him back a little bit. And then the Ray of Frost kind of covers his fur in, in a bit of frost as well. And yeah, so he pretty much sees you guys. And he's like, you come into my fucking house and do this to me? And just roars at you guys. And we can go ahead and do, get started with the initiatives. <laughs> yeah. You have to commit. You that to is commit definitely the probably the best advice you can go with. Because if you don't, you get 
punctured by dun tons of giant wasps and filled with poison, as one person may know. <laughs> you well, you weren't the one that got I hit by it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> or, or you know, somebody flips off the caster. Uh, I got to see all that twice. I got to see all that today when I was editing the videos. All right. Well, um, Biff Burton, you go first. We'll you can go ahead and attack with it. I mean, you said you kind of kept the thing, the javelin close. And fortunately, you missed, but you can do your follow up. Well, at least you're consistent. Uh, from what you can tell, no, he is equipped with a maul. For those who don't know what a maul is, it's a big that. hammer. <laughs> He's building an entire shopping uh, shopping lot. <laughs> okay. All right, goes mm -hmm. to I'm... Druid Burton. Well. Oh yeah, you can. You can play coward. Play coward. <laughs> Oh. Uh, I'll, on my way, on the way up, I cast okay, okay. or towards him. I cast uh, Shlele. Yeah, my my quarter staff starts. Weapons to glow. classified as magical. I'm assuming. All right, so you whack it for five. Yep, and it howls in anger and glares directly at you. Then it's Carol Carol Lor's turn, and Carol's like, uh. All right. It was nice knowing you guys. Here goes nothing. Oh, I should have probably. Ray Frost. You know what? Ray I'll just Frost. put the... Ray Frost on the Druid just so he can die painlessly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'll sh... <laughs> no, I'm pretty sure. I don't think Ray Frost would kill <laughs> like, me. I'm, I'm, trying to... windy I'm numbing your suffering, obviously. All right. Ray Frost on the Werebore. Uh, just barely a miss. Well, I'm seeing that all of our die rolls have been going, going fantastic. That's good. Um... All right, goes to uh, Zuren. He's thinking of how many charges. That's what he's thinking knife. right now. <laughs> Throw the shining knife at it. <laughs> shining knife. No, I like right. my shining knife. That's well. That's the third eight so far in the bunch of attack rolls. Goes to Werebore. Werebore stare. All right. Face or gut. <laughs> uh, freaking Orin. Face or gut. All right. Yeah, you do. Um, you always have a choice. Face or gut. We have a choice. So. I mean, at least if I just face, I'll either get my head chopped right, off or so knocked off or uh, cool scars. Let's first. go. Just barely a miss. And then it takes a swing with its big maul. That's... Just barely. You have 14 AC, right? <laughs> okay, I'm just making sure. <laughs> yep. <laughs> that shield is pulling yeah, doing, in yeah, so that's right, work. Yeah, that's right, because uh, you're using the staff one-handed, but Shillelagh makes it with D8. Okay, gotcha. I understand rules of game. Alright, so, the the thing lunges at you, and you're, like, narrowly avoiding it, and then it swings, and it hits one of the two doors, and just smashes it as you duck underneath it. And you think you feel some numbness from deflecting it with your shield as it ripples through your arm. <laughs> So, goes to Biv Burton. Probably. I'll take a step forward and try to stab it while okay. it's uh, real yep. bothered or busy trying to murder my friend. Yep, you became meaning tank. Congratulations. See how it is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Yeah. You slice into it, and it actually... Javelin completely bounced off. Didn't do a thing. But your silver uh, glaive did sink in rather cleanly. And then you smacked him with the other end, which I assume is also silver. And yeah, you do a total of 12 damage. Woohoo! I want to tell it it's ugly looking. And yeah, good thing you got that glaive for a, a ghost that you'd ended up not, <laughs> not needing it for. <laughs> I'm low. <laughs> it's all good. All right, give me a second as I make a break. No what. 
All right, goes to uh, Oren. Well, I don't have much choice here. I'm going to just continue smacking it, playing main tank. All right, go main tank. Smack, smack. All right, you hit for five. It is still going strong and growling menacingly. Kara's going to go ahead and shoot Ray of Frost. For a critical hit for eight. Yeah. Which, I, also every time I hit with a Ray of Frost, it's supposed to slow it, but it's not moving, so I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, yeah, so yeah, blast it right into the um, into its arm, which kind of cakes over with Frost for a bit, and he kind of flexes his muscle and the ice breaks off, but he definitely looks uh, a little disgruntled by that. It goes to uh, Zurin. If I use all my charges, I roll a d20 to see if it breaks, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Breaks on a one. Breaks on a mm. one. But nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing else. Just the one. Just the one. But you three did... charges is what? Five D four plus five. Two charges is what? Four D four plus four. Magic missile base level one is three missiles, and then it's an additional missile for every level higher. All right, I'm going to shoot it with two. Okay, so that'll be 4d4 four four plus four, and I guess you have one charge left. Okay, 16 damage. Definitely bruised it up a bit as fur flies off of it, and it broke one of its tusks. And I'm right, it has one charge left, right? Well, are correct, okay, yes. Cool. One charge. Got it. All right, it goes to Werebor. There's a lot of pests all around him, but he's not going to stop. He's going to kill someone. All right, face or gut? Uh... Who's guts this time? All right, See? all right, go and maul then. Hit for 12. All right. And then for the tusk? Misses. To be honest, the tusk is probably scarier. <laughs> all right. All right. <laughs> for, for an obvious reason. Uh, goes to um, Biv Burton. Three, Wait, we're going to turn into a werebore? <laughs> That's generally how lycanthropy works, yes. <laughs> Alright, you hit for five. And a miss. I will now ask which was his mother or the father, the, the pig, and then take another step back. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty amusing. Alright, goes to uh, Orin. Orin, the main tank. Smack, smack. All right, you hit for 11. All right, he's spitting up blood, and you pretty sure you broke a few of his ribs with that last swing. And it goes to Kara. I just keep, like, going for his gut, for his ribs. Smack, smack. Now, the real question is, is it going to happen again? It did. Yay. Your NPC steals the kill. <laughs> Dead is dead. Dead is dead. dead Freeze is dead. over, and with a final rasp, it uh, slumps over. You and guys, I have, I have to say, you guys definitely lucked out in the fact that I rolled really bad on all my attack rolls. Yes. I mean, to be honest, you guys at least came with a plan. So I, I mean, I definitely have no complaints about how you guys at least, it's at least attempted to do something. <laughs> all right. We are incredibly lucky that we have a uh, an early silvered weapon. Yeah. Yeah. And the ability of not relying on standard non magic weapons. Yeah. Uh, for, for for our pseudo tank, you can <laughs> Thank you. That's uh, all right. It's almost all the damage I took, I think. Yeah. That's all the damage I took. Yeah, so his form goes back to a human form. He looks to be a human, definitely seemed to only be wearing like pants and was shirtless. Um he did have a key on him, uh that seemed to be very similar to the key that you had that you collected before that you have yet to find the use for. Well, Do you like... think we can get money for this guy? <laughs> I don't know. I've never heard of a bounty for a werebor. Well, we can... Yeah. At least... Yeah. At Do least go... he's taken care of. Do we go 
down. Do we go check downstairs? So yeah, the people, no, the peasants, the peasants kind of peek out and yeah. they see that the you know the boars. Well, they can't really see because there's a thing in the way. But I'll just remove it. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, they're. Uh, uh, we have we have killed the master of the keep. Y'all can return home. Uh, we think, or at least was that dead guy the master? Yeah, that yes, that's him. That's the one. You think right. yeah, he's dead. Head is worth anything, or is that is that pointless here? They kind of blink at you, very confused. Do you have a bounty? You know, come on, guys. They don't know. I mean, most of these people are they from Wamford, which is like the the poorest town you've been to so far. Yeah, but you think like a big bad baddie brags about his bounty all the time. Well, but all uh, right, uh, uh, well, that would be asking it. him, wouldn't it? <laughs> I I search his body and ask him politely if he knows if he has a bounty or not. There was no response, and literally the only thing he had is his big maul, which is just a standard two-handed uh, blunt weapon, and a key that you guys probably picked up already. Cool. So, let's like go search the church. Here. So, I, let's. Uh, I'll first I'll check a few things because let's see what you guys are doing. Because uh, I know the question will eventually come up. Always. All right. I'll assume you guys searched through pretty much all the dead bodies you've gone through to this point. Um, pretty much all the other ones, all like the the mooks and stuff, don't really have anything besides their weapons. Um, let me check about. Priest man. Uh, do, 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 do. Um, mm, nothing on the priesty. And okay, so you guys go to the church. I'll open the door for it. Okay. All right. Uh, the Keep's Chapel contains plain wooden pews facing a large altar at the west end of the room. No idle hints at the, what deity is venerated here. A crude symbol is painted on the wall above the altar, resembling an X with an horizontal bar linking the bottom limbs. So essentially, I think it's the same symbol as what's on the, the map from before. Um, okay. Several straw pallets uh, lie near the chapel door. So it looks like they were sleeping here. Straw pallets. What's that? Can I mess with those straw pallets? What do you mean by mess with it? Oh, rummage through it. Nope. Poke at it. Well, do an investigation, I suppose. It was all razor blades. You got like a thousand paper cuts. There's nothing. It's literally for sleeping. All right. What else you guys wish to check out? Mm. Have we missed anything? Well, is there any places you have not checked out? The, the secret room here. and the boat area. Yeah. And you said the boat's not there, right. except for the little boat. Right. There's the little boat here, and there. When you go down the stairs, you'll be able to see that there's a um, a gate there, uh, which of course you would have to go. You either have to swim or take a boat. Um, and then there's yeah. the tower down here. Uh, I guess we'll go look at the tower down here. Okay, you look at it. It looks amazing. It's the best tower ever. Okay, you guys that go inside. Mimic. <laughs> best mimic ever. All right, door is not locked. In fact, I think it's already open at this point. But if it's not, it is now. All right. All right. So inside. The upper floor of this tower looks deserted, but the ground floor is still in use. Curtains hang, uh, hanging across the eastern half of the room uh, wall off someone's private quarters, and several straw pallets lie on the floor near the door. A capstan uh, stands near, against the north wall with a heavy chain disappearing through a pipe to the northeast. The river laps just uh, beneath the arrow slits of the tower. Uh, Alright. Was there anything in the boat? Uh, in the boat, uh, the little small boat, there's some oars. Cool. 
Are they plus one ore? No. Plus twelve ore. Is there anything in the uh, desk? Um, you can do investigation. Okay, so searching through the area. Um, really, the only thing that stands out is some leather saddlebags. Um, inside you find seventy gold. Ooh, gold. Twelve platinum. And six agates. Or agates. How do you wish to pronounce them? Agates? No, agates. A G A T E S. Oh. A gate to new possibilities. Die. They're, they're <laughs> gems. They're gems. Generally of the cheap variety. Alright. Okay. Where do you wish to go next? Uh, there's the secret, the super secret room. The secretest of rooms. Is this the barracks? Yep. With all the that are, that are currently it. still on fire. <laughs> it's like smoldering and burning. You're welcome. Um. I ask the people if they're going to want to escort home with us, uh, travel back with us to town. Probably safer, yes. Okay, then I just instruct them to wait here for a little bit longer as we finish clearing out and gathering intel. Move in front and be beat shields. Gotcha. I, I open the secret door. All right, door's open again. Uh, all right, I have to actually move it again. Boop. 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 And I fall down the stairs. Uh, All right, it's, it's like a floor's worth of stairs here to get falling down. <laughs> it's like Dwarf Fortress stairs. <laughs> Somehow you're falling down, even though it's like a circular staircase. All right. Uh, goes to... Let's see, that was this room. And that takes you down to... That room. Okie dokie. In that room. I'll grab you guys. Grab you guys, and then uh, I'll just zoom out. Zoom out. Oh, go figure. Put it in the freaking all the way in the bottom corner of the map. All the way down there. Bottom left corner of the map. Enjoy. All right. This is the greatest. Okay. So, um,. Down here, you probably need a light source, so... Lies! Well, actually, let's see. Whoa. What are you talking about? Probably down here would need a light source. Let's find out. Globe. Yeah, we'll just use your globe thing. And obviously, there's that friggin' jerk that has dark vision. So Dark vision, and then the person who can see everything, yeah. and... Alright, so at the bottom of the stairs, you find a tor Oh, actually, torchlet! Hi, you win! Alright, so you find a torchlit chamber where two boats bob in an underground underground stream. The stream flows toward daylight to the, well, I guess rising dawn light to the east and leads upstream into darkness toward the west. Anybody have an idea where this river goes? No, we might uh, ask some questions of people in the area though and uh, gather some more information before selling half cocked into the uh, darkness of the cave, especially without taking a rest at this point, because... Yeah. Well, you've already asked questions to the, the peasant people, and they said they didn't even know it was down the stairs, so... Okay. Well, at least we know it's here, and we can come back if we need to. Alright. Is there anything else you guys want to do before you head out, or... Well, I'm assuming you guys are heading out. I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> at, at this point, I, I'm I'm for taking the civilians back to town okay. and then getting a good night's rest in because you got to think fatigue is going to probably. So we've been <laughs> yeah. fighting. We've been fighting a keep all night. Long Pretty much. With one I mean, rest. I mean, technically, so, yeah. like combat rounds are like six seconds or whatever bullshit. But yeah, you guys have been fighting all night. <laughs> for dramatic effect, it's been all night. Um, yeah, and I mean, obviously, you can see, like, your wave of destruction. 
All right. Uh, are you guys going to leave just immediately, or are you going to try waiting till dawn or anything like that? I just want to. I just want to know what time frame you guys are leaving. If immediately, that's fine. Uh, when the sun's up enough for the people that were escorting out to not have a difficult time traveling through the terrain, because I mean, yes, we can all see in the dark, and we have all these magic goodies. They're normal. All people. right. I'll say you guys get enough daylight by about six, which is probably in a. Do I get? Yeah, go ahead and roll for it. I mean, you, either way, you'll eventually have to get it taken care of. So roll, see how many charges get back. Was it one d six plus think one? So. That sounds right. All right, you get four back. And celebration, shoot five into the air. <laughs> All right, so you guys take uh, the villagers. Um, yeah, majority of them are pretty happy. Um, I think how many? How many do I have in there? Is it eight? I think they're all. Actually, I think they're all from Womford. I'll check one more time. If they're all from Womford. I guess we want to take them back to Womford first. Uh, our captain. Well, the path leads us to uh, Red Lark, so that's where I would head first with them. Well, uh, but, well, let's go ahead and switch to the map, and because I mean, you're right now on the river. But we have no boat. We don't have a boat big enough to, uh, and we're not all. Very proficient. Well, yeah, but it's not a ravine, so I mean, you can go along the river if you want to. Yeah. Okay, so you go along the river down to the inns and then over to Wamford. Drop all these pe these yeah. eight, like eight. Yeah, the symbol was definitely the symbol that was home. in the um the church. Yeah, it was an X with the bottom part connected. Okay. I uh, ask uh, Kara since we only hired her on for the rating of the keep, if she's okay with traveling to Womford before we head back to Red Lark to uh, divvy up the spoils. Uh, well, I mean, we got to get back somehow, so let's get going. I'm alive, at least. <laughs> that, and you have a bunch of books that probably will require some sort of aid, if assuming, depending on what language it's in. Yeah. Correct. I have a feeling that every... every uh person we hire is going to not want to group with us again it, well <laughs> with how much well we... i'll say like i mean for the i mean besides the fact that you guys kind of well the, the initial pitch was not exactly the best and i think you, you definitely probably annoyed uh Sylphie from trying to put her on the spot one thing that i guess you the kind of assume that the not assume is if you hire someone for a job, don't assume you're automatically friends with them. I mean, Sylvie's a nice person, but you guys all have done really only one thing together. Just like how I don't assume when I, you know, order pizza, I don't assume I'm friends with the pizza delivery person just because they did something for me. But, yeah. Well, that's that's why I go and have a drink oh, yeah. with her and cheer on her robots and, and interact well, socially I mean, with her now that we've had well, I mean, an like, I mean, Hayden had questions like, you know, you know, Sylvie, why aren't you, like, you know, coming with us? And, I mean, I also know Hayden was from... The, the previous group in the in uh, the previous group people were like hey we're friends right and I'm like I mean they're not I mean they're mercenaries but they're not adventurers so they are just kind of doing a job for a reason well I'm not saying like as friends or right. anything it's not it's that it's like a hmm we're gonna start having a bad reputation yeah like we? I well okay. like I said yeah what I was gonna say is like you haven't done I mean obviously you kind of maybe annoyed Sophie a little bit for trying to you know one put her on the spot and kind of heckle her a bit for not you know, taking the job that was vaguely presented. But, like, really, as far as, I mean, the, the thing you've done with Sylphie, the adventure went smooth enough. I mean, really, the person that got hurt more was Oren. It's Oren that should be the one you should be worried about. He's going to leave the group. No. <laughs> uh, then, uh, and really, the only thing that I guess would probably have annoyed um, Kara was the fact that you guys kind of hid it around the corner while the caster had her, had her rooted. So I was like, uh, the caster was like, well, fine. If you guys are going to hide, I'm just going to blast your Arthur comrade that's stuck in front of the door. <laughs> but um, but once you guys kind of rushed it down, um, it kind of fixed the problem. And eventually her ribs, ribs healed from the magic missiles. And like I said, I mean, it was a rough fight. And you guys at least, you guys came, you came into the place not with no information, but you at least you proceeded, proceeded cautiously as best as you could. And honestly, that's probably a lot better than the last troop did, to be honest. I mean, you guys took out a room and a half before the alarm went off. So, there's that. We, 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 we went didn't have to with no them. information, and we played like we had no information. <laughs> I mean, I think you guys are at least getting to the, the idea there's a difference. I mean, it, it could be something that could be hard to 
grasp as far as like dungeons are concerned because there's kind of two variations of dungeons there's there is old school dungeons which is literally you go to room x room x has these monsters you fight these monsters and that's that's it there's no there's nothing it's really static i guess you would call it a static dungeon these that in the case of like a place that's like a fort or a base you can consider something like that be a bit more fluid or dynamic in that, which case that people move They'll react to stuff that happens in other rooms and things like that, and that's just that's just something to be aware of. <laughs> and obviously, you don't in with no information. There's not really much you can assume. Like you can't be like, oh, they're out of guys now, but you're you're not sure if there's other floors, other rooms. But I mean, it's just you know, it's honest mistakes for newbie adventures essentially. So I mean, I'm not too bothered by it as long as you're learning. <laughs> I mean, I would have been more annoyed if you guys tried to full rest. I would have just wrecked you guys. <laughs> but like I said, it, um, Kara's kind of, you know, she's exhausted, uh, just like you guys are. And so she's just like, yeah, let's just get out of here. Um, it, it definitely could have went a lot worse, to say the least. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and I'll make a break in the video. All right. So you guys travel. Um you guys are pretty exhausted, but uh, it's going to take, let's see, it is four miles per thingy? Yeah, four miles. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, about 40 miles. So 40 miles, that's about 10 hours. So you got, it'll, it's going to take you about over a day. Uh, obviously, you're probably going to need to rest at some point. Um, when do you guys actually want to do a full rest, is, I guess, is a question. I figure travel half a day and then uh, to get away from the keep okay. into into the woods and then take the full rest and then finish the trip and then the rest of the next day. Okay, that sounds good. Um, yeah. And I believe you guys, I'm just going to, yeah, you travel, you travel, I'm just going to confirm this because I keep forgetting. I'm pretty sure you go 24 hours a day. So if you go half, we'll just say 12, 12, uh, 12 miles. It's really dis disorienting the fact that you guys go three miles an hour and not four. <laughs> but you could go four, but you would be literally suffering perception penalties, which aren't fun. For us. And party time for me. Yeah, 24 miles. So you'll go half a day. So you'll go 20, uh, 12 miles. So we'll go ahead and move you down. One, two, three. And that's about four, uh, four hours worth of travel. And then you guys are going, going to rest for essentially eight hours. So that'll take care of all of those. Now, all right, so you it would have been six when you left. You travel for about four hours, so I'll put you at 10. You'll rest for eight hours, I'll put you at 6 p.m. again. Do you wish to keep traveling at night, or do you just want to go ahead and pass the rest of the day? Uh... I'd say pass the rest of the day. I don't know that our I don't know what the ability of our yeah. traveling companions are at the moment. Um, they're they're probably scared and frightened because As... yes yes we're quote unquote rescuing them, but so far their experience has been we're super yeah, bloody and we just murdered freaking, everybody. Freaking, so freaking, uh, Biff Burton there, man. He's he he, lo he looks amazing. <laughs> so so. So, so I think that they're probably going to be skittish. So I don't need skittish people running around in the middle. <laughs> they just, of the night. They just, yeah, they just scatter in all directions. Oh crap! We gotta pick them if up. We're... <laughs> if it was just, if it was just like the three, the four, four of us in the party, you'd be like, yeah, all right, okay. we can probably push a bit farther a night. But so what's? Uh, like I, I don't remember what you what you guys' resting order was. Uh, so you, you guys can <laughs> come up with that real quick. Before we go to bed or whatever, yeah, me and Kara are going to sit and study you, the books you do have a little some bit time. and see what uh, we can figure out about it. Um, also, uh, can, yeah, you uh, are along River. river you just you're you can see the hills off in the distance, but you're pretty much kind of in mostly slightly wooded grassland areas. Okay, uh, uh, you're breaking up a lot. Uh, can you say it again? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can I <laughs> yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume you're going to clean up at some me? point. <laughs> All right, we'll use this place. Yeah, yeah. 
Ah, uh, it's like his new clothing. All right. Just blood. Okay. Um, so for the books, uh, let me go check that real quick. Um, oh yeah, give me a rest, uh, a watch order. You can include Kara, because she is part of the group. So, who wants to do for? So, you're doing- I'll go yeah, so yeah, just give me an order, sorry. Okie dokie. I'll take third, dead and right. I can take second. Right. that's fine Four. by me. Um, most of the peasants will be up through most of the day, so when you rest during, during midday, there you should be relatively safe as far as ambushes are concerned. And I'm trying to find where the books. Oh, that's right, it's later sections. Later sections. Boop -a -doo. Okay, um, so going through the stuff, you find. Let's see if there's anything else of note. Okay. So, um, for the books, let's see, looking, uh, I think the scrolls, uh, you had two scroll spell scrolls, uh, I don't think either of you can identify them. I'll say, yeah. Yeah, you Yeah, we well, I mean, since you have a, a moment to so look up now, I'm just seeing if there is anything you could potentially do, which actually... I'm gonna. I'm actually. You know what? No, uh, I'm gonna cast a spell. To identify. Do you have read magic? Uh, no, I don't have a pearl on me at the moment. Okay, let me see if I actually. No. <laughs> actually, give I me one an second because I went through that entire thing without ever opening tabletop simulator to get my fucking deck of cards. All right, so drew new card. Well, I discarded all my my entire hand of cards, drew new cards, because uh, it was a new day. I do full rest, and she does have detect magic, but that doesn't help. <laughs> we need, I think, unless I'm just making sure I'm not insane and getting mixed up with Pathfinder. Uh, is there no read magic anymore? There is usually. Um, other casters get it, not me, because my I'm with a pact with a with a with I'm a not... being and. I don't think read magic is the spell specifically. Yeah, I don't think it's in there anymore. Uh, well, let's see if detect magic helps. I was like, I can detect magic, but detect magic is generally just lets you identify if there's magic and what school of magic. Right. Which I mean, I guess you can get that much information from the scrolls, but that's about it. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's definitely not. I'm pretty, and I'm pretty sure from your spells, I'll need to take a look at. I know one of them's a new spell from the freaking, uh, yeah, from the not Xanathar, the um, elemental evil um. stuff. So let me see if I can pull it up. Uh, wall of all right. Well, I can easily find yours now. Uh, okay, definitely not a warlock spell. Which means it's probably definitely not a card caster. Is it a is it a ritual tag spell? Okay. Um so looking at through the scrolls, um the um Orin, you're able to identify one of them. Uh, one of them is Wall of Water, which is an evocation, third level druid. Uh, As for what it does, I have no idea and I'm not gonna look it up. <laughs> no, just kidding. You could probably. I can look Yeah, up. you can just Google okay. it. Um, no, I mean, it's in Xanathar, so. Yeah, if, no it, it, and there. I believe it's possible to cast a higher level spell from a scroll, but it requires a check, I believe. And if you fail it, it fizzles or possibly backfires. Um, and then the other spell, uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, I can at least get the scroll, uh, at least the school for it. And the, you can, someone can just ritual cast attack magic, so it won't cost a slot. All right, F G. Freaking, it is the other scroll is a transmutation spell. That's all you know. All right, wall of the water. It, it doesn't do damage, but it you know it's very much a control spell. Yeah, it's just a blocking thing. I I haven't it, I haven't seen a wall spell in such a long time. So wall of thorns is absolutely. Ridiculous. The last one I saw was Wall of Fire, and I think I used Wall of Stone at one point long ago. Wall of Thorns is really good. All right. It's like a 6th level spell, so... Yeah, indeed. All right, so... 
real quick. Let's go into... Okay, so you guys are doing rest order. Uh, I completely blanked out on what your order was. I know... I'm second. You're second? I'm third. Okay, and Biff Burton was first. Third. Got it. All right, so Carol be last. What did we find out about the books in our oh, right, yeah. interval for the day while we were laying around and not being fatigued? Hey, re re enjoying life. Uh, all right, so the books, mostly uh, nautical topics. Uh, well, yeah, it mostly covers nautical topics. Uh, includes charts, experts from ship logs, and the like. And then for the notes, because I'm assuming you're going to go through that shit too. Yep. Uh, do, 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 do. Uh, okay. Long the banners for Okay. So looking through, it looks to be like various reports um, from kind of. It seems to be a lot like smuggling in banditry type reports. Um, it kind of goes into things like uh, it has routine notes about river guard supplies, uh, boat sailing on the river, um, log books um, that in manifest have been taken from plundered ships. It looks like um, they, it looks like they have exact recordings of like loot they took, kind of like wagon loads of flour near you know near B, which B is like a, just a marking on the map. Um, like, and then another part, it's like 40 silver from a traveler near W, um, various, uh, oh, actually, sorry, the abbreviations, uh, seem to match town names. So it seems to be like W is for Womford, B is for Belliard. Um. Gotcha. Um, anything on our lost delegation? Uh, let's see. Looking through, um, you do see a note that talks about a... A band of troublemakers, uh, seeming to consist of two humans and one half orc. Or yeah, one half orc. Oh, is that us? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, we made the note. <laughs> We're moving up. Hey. Bad guys don't like us. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, those are the people we don't want to like. <laughs> And I'm just checking to see if there's anything else you guys probably picked up along the way. Any notes on my item? Your item? Ida. No, uh, the... no, no, there isn't. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like, I mean, I mean, most of their stuff seems to be focusing on raiding and stuff, so it's mostly, I mean, you kind of saw some of the stuff in the kitchen, like, obviously it looked like stuff, supplies that were stolen, all that junk. Right. Um... I'm just seeing if there's anything else of big, big note. Think, I think it's no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's no. Okay. All right, so you guys are at rest. Um, you guys kind of take it easy. Um, well, a good portion of the peasantry is um, kind of looking forward to getting back to Womford. Um, but now that they kind of saw that the leader was dead, they're a little bit calmer. Um, obviously, they're still kind of freaked out and it's kind of a little bit jittery. But you guys set up camp, and you guys kind of rest through the night, and kind of force yourselves to kind of, you know, essentially get some rest for once. Um, I can cast enough good berries for everyone. <laughs> I offer them cake as an alternative. <laughs> so, as you guys are setting up camp, which, conveniently enough, this map pack, does this actually have a... Wait, is that actually part of the map? It is. Sweet. I'll use it. <laughs> oh, no. What, it could be a bunny. Could be nothing. <laughs> could be a mimic. Could be friends. This is I brought you down memory lane, but there's no bear in this one. Oh. Hey, we're gonna have to protect people. Actually have to protect them. Well, it's not like they're lemmings. Oh no, you didn't put a blocker. He's gonna run off the cliff. <laughs> I'm assuming that they're all gonna be near the fire when the night goes on. <laughs> No, they're going to be all around Biv and staring at him and tugging at his beard. They're going to be in the fire. <laughs> they, not around they it. They are the fire. Well, Tell you know, whatever. Alright, so you guys kind of get set up. Um, while you guys are getting set up, uh, everyone can go ahead and make uh, perception checks. I would like Oren to be over there with the rest of the Yeah, party, yeah, I want to move you over. <laughs> <laughs> I moved in, but... So, perception. Yeah, go ahead and do perceptions. 
Wow, consistent. Consistency, and, uh, I like it. You guys are going to finish each other's sentences by the end of this. <laughs> All right. Okie dokie. All right. So, coming as you guys kind of just set up, you hear a rustling through the brush uh, coming from two different sides as one large muscular humanoid that seems to be kind of like a looks to be kind of a tribal barbarian type person comes you know roaring and charging out and give me a moment as i pull some tokens out um but as you yeah, get as tokens. you get your attention gets drawn towards the big guy um some spears are thrown out from the other side so that will be a surprise round for the three uh smaller mooks because they actually beat your perception. All right. I would have had this repaired already, but I wasn't sure how far you guys were going to survive. Because that's because it's fair. Be, well, I mean, so in last uh, the the Pathfinder session, one thing that uh, our DM said multiple times was, "I don't assume anything," and I think I think Darren, you understand why he doesn't assume anything anymore. <laughs> Oh yeah, no, for sure. <laughs> that was he. We did not expect things to go the ways they did, <laughs> even with our expectations. <laughs> so, all right, give me a moment. I'll put. Actually, you know what would be easier? I'll delete these two and just make a copy of the token once I finish it. Yeah, look at that using technology. Ooh, fancy. I know. I'm moving on up. And for those who are wondering how I do random encounters, I have a big Excel spreadsheet already pre-made. <laughs> I used to say I used to Fancy. I used to roll it based off like what the party was gonna do, but I could never get straight answers from people, so I just roll a bunch of, I just roll a bunch of dice ahead of time and then I make a chart. So now you never know that maybe the next step the like next it. step you it's you don't know what the step count is. <laughs> Can't manipulate it. Still running off the one spell slot short rest stuff, right? Uh you got no. You got your. You got the uh, the midday rest. So you do get your full rest. So all that's restored. Okay. So every everything's yeah. good to yeah. go. That's why I was able to shuffle the deck and uh, draw new cards. Time to blow. Yeah, everything. just <laughs> non cantrip spells. All right. So you picked. They picked a bad time to. We 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 are a little bit grouchy. All right. So let me check the range. Okay. So these guys got pretty close. do some sort of setup like this and then this guy that guy is right there all right he was, he the, was distraction. the distraction let me clear the uh board first uh remove all turns i think there was any distracting part of it i think they just threw spirits yeah at us. i mean yeah i didn't he didn't roll well on this initiative so yeah the tribal warriors will go ahead and do their attacks real, real quick uh one spear will go after well two spears will go for biv and one spear will go for Orin. i say throw a spear all right. So, Biv, here comes. One. Miss. Two. Miss. And then for Orin, miss. And then they have another spear that they are going to be wielding two-handed. Uh, it's right. times. Also, I get to close this freaking one of these windows. Yay. Okay. Also, I'm probably super out of audio desynced right now, so one second. Okie dokie. Uh, those are all taken care of. All right, I'm going to go ahead and roll for initiative for them. They go on 10. And these guys, that guy goes on 5. And then Kara, who is magically still alive. Also, you get back one, I believe you get, what, half your hit die back? I don't remember how many. Uh, you, get, you get half of your maximum. Okay, so it'll be rounded down. So you guys get one hit die back if, if that ever becomes an issue. All right. <laughs> And initiative for her. Oh, good, good. I, I'm glad you're trying to race to the bottom there. All right, descending. Okay, it goes. Uh, spirit surprise round has been taken care of, so it goes to uh, Orin. Yep. All right. Well, 
looking at the people. So, mm. so yeah, the tribal, the these tribal guys that have spears, um, they just have hide armor and spears. And then the big guy here, down here, has a has hide armor and a great axe. Well, I know one thing: flaming spear is not happening. <laughs> <laughs> I, I suggest you center it right here to keep the peasants warm. Yeah, no. I thought uh, that's what we were using for the fire. <laughs> Just throw a peasant in there. <laughs> no, the flaming spear. Oh. <laughs> Action. Action. All right, what do you guys? You know doing? what? I'm going to. I'm feeling confident. I'm going to cast fairy fire on the big guy. Okay, dokey. What's the same? As, as the spear whizzes past me, I'm more. I'm still focused on the okay, dokey. yelling man. All right, what's the save? Is it Dex? Yep, it's Dex. Okay, uh, what's the DC? Thirteen. I fail. So he is now. It's advantages to hit him now. He's also very illuminated. I'm gonna cast Shillelagh too with my bonus yeah. action. Yeah. Also, it's like getting close to night. I'm just. I'll, I'll assume you guys have enough light to see. Yeah, and then I step forward a bit. All right. So goes to. What symbol do I want? Oh, that's a perfect one. There you go. Illuminated. All right. Takes care of that. Goes to uh, Biv Burton, Hero of Time. With the man screaming, he takes that as a challenge and charging straight at him. Okie dokie. Not caring about the losers that missed. Okay. Good to go. Go ahead and make your attacks. They are at advantage. <laughs> Good thing it's an advantage. All right, so two hits. That is a total of 15 damage. And he takes it and he roars at you. Um, and I think he has reach. Was it right? Uh, he has a he great axe. It's not reach. Well, I'll take a five. Uh, you, oh, used, no. you, used all, you used all your movement, yeah. <laughs> Good thought, though. I mean, you're actually using that uh, style rather well. All right, goes to uh, Zeran. Use four charges of magic missile. All right, at the big guy or a mook. No, I'm do, gonna do use... it on a mook. Do it on you wanna. <laughs> no, I'm, I can divide them up, right? Oh yeah, you can. How do you wish to split yeah. up the missiles? It is uh, six missiles. It's gonna be two each for from top to bottom. The mooks, I think. Oh, on, on the, the, on the three smaller, right. on the three smaller guys. All right, three smaller guys. So two d four plus two, and just do it three times. We'll do top to bottom. All right, seven. Got it. You can hit up, and I'll just re I'll do the last command you did. Eight and ten. Okay, you definitely pepper them with a bunch of bolts. And you're back down to one charge, aren't you? <laughs> yeah, pretty much. You, you are you are using that one. I'm just glad you guys are using it. <laughs> like it sucks having like items that you just forget you have. All right. Hey, you're gonna give me stuff to use. I'm gonna use it, <laughs> like the dagger. I found a way to use you guys, the dagger. I will say you guys used pretty much every potion you bought. So there you go. Um, do you wish to do any movement or any other actions? I'm gonna step to here. Okay. No, I'm gonna step to here. <laughs> Wait, hold on. What was their range? Shit, I wasn't paying attention. You're not sure, but they also they can they can walk, so they can move forward. <laughs> so. I'm gonna step to here to kind of okay. separate myself from the uh, All right. people we're trying to keep alive. Okay. All right. So we'll do it this way then. Boop. I'll actually go after the caster there. And one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, that's the, that's the fluid motion there. All right. You're gonna get some love. That's what I get for yeah. You 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 just you you got some. You deal to say got aggro. <laughs> All right. Um. Thanks to actually, I have to do this one at a time. So the first one it will not be pack tactics, but everything else will be. So first one will be regular attack, and it will be two handed. So I'll be going to do, doing the two handed damage, assuming this die roll works correctly. Okay. So it'll be the sec It will be a miss. All right. These next two attacks will be at, at advantage. Why are they at advantage? Pack, sorry, pack, pack tactics. tactics. Okay, if, sorry. It's, Just, it's essentially if they're if they're al if they're attacking a target that's they that's close to an ally, um, you're ga they're ganging up on you. 
Okay, no, that's fine. Yeah. I was just curious. Yeah, Sorry. Yeah, it's uh, it's similar to the wolf totem, uh, barbarian, bar bar yeah, barbarian ability. All right, so hits for five, second attack, uh, crits for nine. No, he hits a fourteen. He misses me. Okay. That's fine. So you'll just take the, the <laughs> second hit, which is five damage. Um, and the first number just represents if it's one-handed. Gotcha. Yeah. They have some weird ways of how they auto-generate some of this shit. Anyway, uh, goes to Berserker. And obviously I used luck point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No worries. Yeah, you're glad you have those back. <laughs> All right. Well, since he's kind of screwed on the whole advantage-disadvantage thing, he's going to go ahead and attack recklessly and get advantage on his attack. All right, hits for 12. Hits Kara's turn. And Kara's like, all right, there's a whole bunch of guys near me. Let's see what we got. Let's see. Magician. That was ultimate enemy lovers, death. Lovers and the fool. I kind of want to burn everyone alive right now. <laughs> Let's see if I can get an actual decent position, actually. Uh, technically, I could. You know what? I will go ahead and take the opportunity attack from the uh, tribal warrior as, he, as she leaves the attack range. It hits for four. So she'll take it. She'll then pull out the uh, tarot card of the magician and cast Burning Hands. And this will be at level 2. Alright, it's going to do 15 damage unless they make their deck saves, in which case they'll take half, which will probably still kill them. But I'll roll anyway to be cool. Fail and passed. So one guy dies less. He's just a little less crispy. Yeah, he's a little less dead. All right, so that guy's at negative 11, and <laughs> this guy is at negative 4. Okay, so that's... They're not, they're not that tough. Yeah, I mean, try, yeah, I mean, it's just a different variety of... Well, it's practically a different variety of bandit or goblin. All right, go, yeah, so that burns that card, and, I, and I'll draw another one. Okay. All right, understanding rules. Okay, goes to uh, Orin. Hmm. Well, I guess I mean I can clear up the way. I'm gonna smack the guy in front of me. All right. Make sure uh, Zern has the clearest possible vision. <laughs> As he pulls that one spear out of him. Is this Shlaley? I'm assuming. Yes. Okay, that's fine. Because I casted it earlier. Yeah, I couldn't remember if he did. It's all good. It's it's just a bonus action. All right, killed it. Yeah. Do you wish to move anywhere? Close to uh, Biv. Yeah. And oh yeah, and you haven't been hit yet, so yeah, your concentration's fine. Okay. Yeah, I was like, oh man, I'm gonna you know, I was make concentration, and then they all went for Zuri. And I'm pretty sure Shillelagh isn't concentration. It is not. Okay. Just want to make sure. I'll check my. Yeah, it, it'll be. It, I'm not I believe it's sure. a checkbox if it is. Actually, I could probably pull it up. No, no, it's not. It's just yeah, it is not concentration. Okay, cool. Yeah, it makes sense. Okay, coolness. All right, takes care of that. You move closer. You're good to go. It goes to Biff Burton. Um, I like how your icons are almost similar. <laughs> All right. Uh, even with advantage, that misses. And with advantage, that hits for seven. All right. That's all. Like I said, clearest possible vision for Zern, and I step in the way. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. All right, uh, Zern, it's your move. You can clearly see the barbarian's outline because of the uh, wonderful, wonderful fairy fire. Just like glowing in the night, extra glowing. What color did you pick? Uh, it's like a pink. <laughs> Go figure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna cast booming blade on him. Okay, go ahead and make your attack roll. Uh, unfortunately, even with advantage, that misses. Sack. Uh, at one point. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> it it seems to always happen like that for you. Um, 
can you link Booming Blade real quick? Or is it or is it an attack? I... No, it's uh if I hit with the attack, he then if he moves, I get to do damage to him. If he stays still, then he doesn't do it. Well, damage. is it a concentration spell? I'm just I'm seeing if you can maintain the charge. And is it like a smite worth on the next hit? Uh, duration one round, unfortunately. Oh, it's a cantrip. That's right. So yeah, we'll yeah, just so... okay. So yeah, you're fine. Okay, so yeah, you it misses. Booming blade will wear off. Good to go. Okay. Yeah. Right. Tribal warriors are dead. Berserker. Uh, Berserker is going to go ahead and rec attack recklessly, and he's turning his attention to the the freaking spellcaster, and hits for seven. All right, goes to Kara Lore. Uh, she's going to go ahead and try to help you guys out. And she's going to pull out the card, the Emperor, and try to cast Hold Person. All right, so she ne uh, Berserker needs to make a Wisdom saving throw. And fails it. So currently he is held and paralyzed. Held in place, paralyzed, and glowing pink. <laughs> Pretty much. But he's definitely still... He looks, Having a bad day? He's, he's, he's still looking pretty good despite the wounds he's suffered so far. Alright, goes to... Uh, Warren. Alright, so I will... Uh... You have so many. You have like triple advantage on on the attacks now. One for paralysis, one for reckless, and one from the uh, um, yeah <laughs> from the fairy fire. I'll complete the trifecta. All right, sounds good. Go for it. <laughs> I'm just gonna smack him. And the peasants come. <laughs> All right. We just wanted to eat our cake. <laughs> Fine. All right. So unfortunately, you missed. Uh, it goes to Biv Burton. With someone is held, can we talk? Uh, no. Because I remember we were trying to do that. We were thinking about using that to keep someone from speaking while infiltrating. And from what you can tell, this guy is definitely barbarian berserker-like, so he's probably not much of a conversationalist. He is, his eyes are burning with angry fury. Holy crow. All right. That's 17 damage. Now your next attack. Well, the A for advantage. Take another seven. All right. You guys are like chopping this guy down like he's a giant tree, and he is still standing. Goes to uh, Zeran. We're going to do the same thing again because, you know, we're just kind of standing here hanging out. Actually, you know what? Hold on. How much health do I got left? Yeah. All right. Yeah, we'll hit him again just because I can. All right. I, I'll go ahead and save you the trouble not to do booming blade because <laughs> he can't move. All right, yeah. I, know. You I was just gonna. I was just gonna poke him with my dagger. Right. If I move, yeah, I won't provoke because he's held, right? Okay. Okay. I'm just gonna casually walk back to the fire. All right, Berserker <laughs> at the end of his turn will walk away. Fails, and it goes to Carolor, who will go ahead and shoot a ray of frost, which will be advantaged for a whopping one damage. Look at that one damage. Epic. He's also slowed for one round. Hell so yeah. he's like all ultra debuffs. So we're just gonna put a, you know, we'll just put a bunch of freaking uh, status effects here like that. Okay, there we go. All right, <laughs> goes to Oren. Perfect. Just try this again. I want to point out I missed a, a held person. <laughs> yeah, you did. You you, you missed a held person that had was rec had reckless attack and freaking was uh, fairy fired. But no, but but no one will say a thing. No one, will, no one will know. You just have to kill all the witnesses. <laughs> all right. I yeah, so, <laughs> okay. yeah, we've had that conversation. Goes to uh, Biv Burton. It's all you, Biv. Yeah. All right, he topples over and dies. Good shit. Yay! Uh, the peasants cheer. Yay! <laughs> Yay! You kept us alive slightly people. longer in our miserable no. lives. <laughs> All right. So. Right. Any weird? Uh, uh, you guys can do a. 
You can do a history check, and I I'll see myself. if I can pull up some info if possible. Ooh. All right. All right. I'm you healing some histories going for a little on there. bit. All right. Let me see if I can find the info. Ooh, is that more my four health? Yeah. Just yeah, let you know, you guys haven't rested yet, so you guys will probably get a full oh, restore yeah. very soon. <laughs> Unless you get attacked again. Alright. Yeah. One of the part of the history right. brigade. <laughs> is it? Okay. Uh. Okay. So, um, Biv Burton with well, actually, I guess yeah, Druid and Biv Burton. Um, this is actually sort of history stuff that would actually be kind of within your realm of expertise. Um, so. You do know that there's, you know, human barbarians in the vicinity of the Western Valley. Um, most of them um, belong to, uh, most of them are a variety of Uthgart tribes. Um, the name Uth uh, the name is taken from uh, the great hero chief Uthgar, uh, which conquered much of the north many centuries ago uh, before ascending to godhood. Uh, each tri tribe venerates its own particular totem animal and protects its own sacred sites, known as ancestral mounds. Um, some Uthgar tri uh, Uthgar are, you know, relatively si settled and trade with civilized folk. And then there are others that are like, you know, screw the white man and are aggressive raiders and will pillage and things like that. Um, from what you know, um, as far as major tribes in the area, um, there's the elk, gray wolf, griffin, and tree ghost. Um, from looking over this stuff, let's see. Let's see. Da, 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 da. That is that one. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Uh, this one. It looks like just from the like, kind of the tribal markings and stuff, it seems to be from the elk tribe, and the elk tribe tends to be like kind of the most widespread. Like the from what, what you've kind of heard, you know, back when you were doing more barber, barbarish things or druidic things, is you know the kind of claim they are the ones that kind of claim most of Desran Valley, um, even if they technically don't control it. So, and as far as any markings that would match anything that you guys have been seeing that are you know like the ones on the map and stuff like that, nothing. Even of the sort. They were. Elk. Uh, you uh, you cut out there. The elk, yes. Uh, was it elk? Do we know if they have any ancestral uh, mine like mountains around? You don't really know. Um, I mean, elk is probably the only one that would probably be around this sort of area. They tend to be a bit more widespread around Desert Valley. Um, tree ghosts, of course, are preferably in the main forest areas, which you guys aren't anywhere near. And the other, uh, the, I believe the other tribes are a bit more further north and maybe like northern Desert Hills or even further north than that. So elk makes sense. Um, and as far as, I mean, some, some tribal groups are good, some are not so good. It's just kind of one of those things. And much like, and much like most societies, yep. uh, kind most of. people paint with a broad brush. <laughs> yep, racism. Jesus. All right. Uh, uh, as for any Ooh, loot, there's just great racism. axes and a couple spears. It's nothing really that important. I'm good I out here, great axe. I'm all right with average a mildly all right axe. All right, I can close these actually. I have like all these freaking tabs open. All right, those can close. Okie dokie. Um, so yeah, you guys go ahead and finish resting. Um, you guys are bit. You guys um move the bodies or tend to them somehow. Um, either burning them or otherwise trying to you know get them away from the camp for obvious reasons. Um. The rest of the night kind of goes pretty uneventful, though. Uh, woo. woo. And let's see. We'll pass that night. All right. 
That should that should have been plus one, shouldn't it? So that's yeah, only yeah. gonna be a, that's only gonna be a four added back just, to it. No, it's fine. I mean that's a consistent number. Sorry. <laughs> All right, one moment. 